Hi, my name's Glenn, and welcome to my next project. In this episode, I make a spatula. But wait, there's more. I make another spatula. I'm going to show you how I did it. And this is something that has been a long time coming, woodwork. Now, years ago, I bought a cheap wood carving set from Harbor Freight just for the purpose of carving pumpkins for Halloween. So it worked okay. You know, it's made of metal and they were reasonably sharp and they did great with pumpkins. So I started carving with wood. I started with my wood posts that are holding up my, the roof of my, my deck here in front of my office. And you know, it, it went okay. I took away some of the paint and some of the wood and you know, I could make some shapes and designs and it was somewhat fun, but I'm not really an artist. So I don't really see that being my niche. But then one day I decided, well, it seems like it'd be pretty easy to make a piece of wood shaped like this. I have chisels. I have small chisels and wide chisels, and so I thought, well, I'll just get a piece of wood, cut it out in roughly the shape of a spatula. And here is my rough piece. So then I took the chisel and used it to get rid of everything I did not need, did not want on it. So we see here that it has a bit of a curve on it. The flat piece of the wood was here, so I followed that as a line, and then I took away all this on the underside, made a little bevel there, just kind of a, a landmark with your hand. And voila, it was really fun, really enjoyable. I, I, I could do it anywhere, anytime, like sitting in bed watching TV, sitting in the living room watching TV. Actually, I wasn't watching TV, but other people around me were. So it was nice because I could still be with my family and it's not very noisy, it's not stinky, it doesn't take a lot of concentration. I just need to watch. So it was really, really pleasant. And I, and I find the act of shaving away <laughs> the wood with a sharpened blade, like a chisel, unbelievably satisfying. So as I was using my chisel to make this spatula here, I also started thinking, well, how long would it take to do it with a power tool? So I got my sawzall and I cut out the basic shape and then I cut, this is the other half of this one. So then I cut it in half lengthwise because it didn't need to be that thick or as thick as the other one. And in 15 minutes, no kidding, in 15 minutes, I turned a piece of blank wood into this and then into this with my random orbital sander. That's all it took. And then I oiled it. And I've been using this in the kitchen to make my eggs pretty much every morning since. As I'm doing this with this chisel, I'm realizing that, well, I wanna make other things that are curved, like a spoon, like a bowl, like a, maybe a mug. So I'm gonna need a round blade. And I found this. This is Beavercraft woodcrafting kit, and it comes with these three blades you see right here. There is a rounded chisel, which works really nice for scooping wood out. There's this awesome knife that is very unique and you can't make one of these or find anything else that will work like it. And it has a pretty nice sharp edge. And it also came with a paring knife or they call it a whittling knife, but I call it my whittle knife. And it's pretty sharp too. And to illustrate how sharp it is, Beavercraft included two band-aids <laughs> with their package. So <laughs> I thought that was hysterical. Um, clearly it's for beginners. The whole kit was like $35. And when I was looking around for one of these curved knives, the cheapest I could find was $50. So granted the, the quality is probably not as good as the $50 knife, but for me, it's working just fine. And what have I done with that curved knife? I made a spoon. 
That's right. It is a spoon made of poplar. Now, this was definitely the most difficult part. I'm not done with it, so if it looks a little rough to you, that's because I haven't yet finished. Got a little thin here and broke away, and chiseling down there is getting that wood out of there is, is pretty hard with it this small, so I would really need another rounded knife, a smaller one to get in there, but I'm making do with what I have. And I'm just finding a lot of joy in this. This was a piece of, I think, two by two by 12 inches long, and it came in a pack of four for about $5. So other than that rounded knife, I could have used the chisel for all of this and it would have been, what's this like, it's $1.25 for this piece of wood. So pretty affordable. Now, what I didn't show, the, what I don't have video to show is what I did with the scraps. So after I made my first spatula, I had a piece of wood left over that fits something like that. So I made a knife out of it and it is stained with Danish oil. I used the dark walnut Danish oil, so it preserved it and stained it. And this is, this literally took me 20 minutes with a chisel. 20 minutes with a chisel, did it all like that. I ran some sandpaper over it just a little bit. And, you know, it looks exactly how I intended it to turn out. Once again, I don't want my things looking machine made. That's not my, that's not my path. I like it looking homemade and functional. And really this is, I just need something to make. I need a goal because I'm enjoying removing wood, bits of wood and leaving something behind. So I need something to leave behind. And since I did have some scraps, I made that knife and then I made a giant peanut butter knife. Now this is going to be really good because we get the old fashioned peanut butter that is separates. And so we need to get into this giant jar and stir it around and normally I get it all over my fingers from using a regular peanut butter knife or butter knife. Anyway, that's my latest uh, obsession is wood carving. I am certainly going to do some more. I have some fancy woods coming my way so I'm going to make some things out of those and I will show you what those are when I do it. I also have some more furniture to work on and I'm sure something else will come up. So if you want to know what my next project is, please hit the subscribe button because then you will be notified when my next episode comes out. Until then, thanks for watching.